Hi, Year 11. This is Miss Axman, and I'm just going to be talking to you here very briefly about Imtiaz Darker's tissue. So, just a little background. Imtiaz Darker was born in Pakistan and raised in Glasgow, but she now divides her time living between Britain and India. Her poem, Tissue, is from her 2006 collection, A Terrorist at My Table, um, and all the poems in this collection really question how well we know all of the people around us. So a few things that you need to know about the poem before we start. Um, the poem sounds very simple, but it really resists a straightforward interpretation. There's quite a few key themes and ideas that we're going to see run throughout the entire poem. So the first three stanzas really talk about uh, the importance of paper as a means of recording our own history and our own lives. Uh, the next four to six stanzas really shift focus and kind of question how something like paper can be so fragile, but is still able to control our lives and really dictate every aspect of them. And the final 13 lines by the end of the poem are really looking at creating things, uh, particularly human life. So life is more complex and precious than any other things that we create. It's also, it tells us very temporary, but forms a much bigger and ongoing story. So here we go, tissue. Paper that lets the light shine through. This is what could alter things. Paper thinned by age or touching. The kind you find in well-used books, the back of the Quran, where a hand has written in the names and histories, who was born to whom, the height and weight, who died where and how, on which sepia date? Pages smoothed and stroked and turned, transparent with attention. If buildings were paper, I might feel their drift. See how easily they fall away on a sigh, a shift in the direction of the wind. Maps too. The sun shines through their borderlines, the marks that rivers make. Roads, rail tracks, mountain folds. Find slips from the grocery shops that say how much was sold and what was paid by credit card might fly our lives like paper kites. An architect could use all this, place layer over layer, luminous script over numbers over line, and never wish to build again with brick or block, but let the daylight break through capitals and monoliths, through the shapes that pride can make, find a way to trace a grand design. With living tissue, raise a structure never meant to last, of paper smoothed and stroked and thinned to be transparent, turned into your skin. Okay, so I think there's um, three very important lines in this poem, and what we'll do is trace through the first three stanzas, the middle three stanzas, and the remainder. So in the first three stanzas, in stanza two, line seven, we really see the importance of paper when it says, um, a hand has written in the names and histories who was born to him, the height and weight. So paper is used, the poet says, to record family history. Whole lives can be summed up simply by making marks on paper. So it keeps our story alive, it keeps your family alive, it keeps your generation alive. And it's hugely crucial to us to have that information. As we move into the middle three stanzas on line 21, we see kind of a change in attitude towards paper. Line 21 says, find slips from grocery shops that say how much was sold and what was paid by credit card might fly our lives. So it's almost a criticism here talking about um, how much our lives can be controlled by money. And we have to question what is money, just simple slips of paper. So these receipts record our day-to-day -day lives. They can tell you where you've been, what you've done, what you've ate, who you've gone with, what you've seen. All of this information stored on tiny little bits of paper can tell our life story. Uh, and then in the final stanzas, we see on line 26, it says an architect could use all of this place, layer over layer, luminous script over numbers over line, and I think what Dark is trying to say here is that the work of the poet really mirrors the work of the architect. So just like the poet builds layers of words and meanings into each poem or each line, and an architect is able to design physical structures. So the repetition of over and over and over reinforces the ideas of layers. 
Um, some poems that I would find really helpful linking to tissue. I would talk about how Ozymandias is another poem that looks at how nature is ultimately more powerful than humans. I would talk about the importance of family identity uh, in this poem and within poppies. And I would also consider checking out me history to kind of talk about the personal identity and how that shapes the reader or the poet. Hope you find this helpful. Thanks for listening.